Hi everyone! I wanted to introduce you to our new lesson that we're going to be starting. Uh, this unit is about growth mindset and we are tying it into your classroom but also with science as well. So growth mindset is something that is used all over the place and I want to show you how it applies in art. So let's go! So first I want to share with you this video that I think is great. Nobody's born smart. We all start at zero. Can't talk, can't walk, certainly can't do algebra. Adding, reading, riding, riding a bike. Nobody's good at anything at first. There was a time when Einstein couldn't count to ten. And Shakespeare had to learn his ABCs just like the rest of us. Thankfully, we're born to learn. Slowly, surely, you stumble, slip, crawl, fall, and fail, and fall. Frustrating, confusing, trying, struggling. Until one day, you walk. One foot in front of the other, one idea on top of the next. Each wrong answer making your brain a little bit stronger. Failing is just another word for growing, and you keep going. This is learning. Knowing that you'll get it, even if you haven't gotten it yet. Because the most beautiful, complex concepts in the whole universe are built on basic ideas that anyone, anywhere, can understand. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you only have to know one thing. You can learn anything. All right, so what I wanted you to see with that is that we can learn anything and everything that we try to do, whenever we try first, it's going to be hard, right? We're gonna struggle and we might even fail. And sometimes we decide that once we try it that one time and we can't do it, that we're not gonna do it again, ever. So we're gonna show you how we can change our mindset from going from a, like a rock brain which means you don't you're kind of stuck and you don't want to do anything to more of like a play-doh brain that is soft and we can mold it and use it still so the brain is like a muscle and it gets stronger with everything that you try and every challenge you have so growth mindset i know you've been talking about this a lot growth mindset is where exactly the like that you you can grow your mind you can keep trying and you don't give up and even if you're you have a really hard time doing something or you fail at it you don't stop you you take what you learned from that failure and you just keep trying a fixed mindset is the opposite um, it is basically maybe you make you fail one time and you never try it again or sometimes it's even where you don't even want to try because you're afraid that you're going to fail. And this is something that can hold us back in life. And everybody has gone through this. And sometimes we, we go back and forth between the two parts of our mind, the growth mindset and the fixed mindset. Um, but what you ultimately want to get to is to how you can have the growth mindset and how you can have some strategies that are going to help you. So I want you guys thinking about what kind of growth mindset we could have in art, in art class. So oftentimes I hear you come in and before you even try something, I hear people say, I can't, I can't do this. I can't do art. I, I can't draw. I can't, I can't. That is one of the biggest, I would have to say the biggest creativity killers in the art room and it really like when you say these these things to yourself or out loud it sets you up for that failure and it sets you up for not wanting to try again so we have to think about how we can retrain our brain so instead of saying i can't do this or i give up i'm not smart i will fail this is too hard or I'm not good at this, we want to change the words that we're using and what we're thinking. So some of the things would be, I can do this as long as I keep trying. I grow my brain by learning new things. If I fail, 
I will keep trying till I get it. Everything needs effort, which means we can't just get it one time. I'm not good at it yet, but with practice, I will be great or better. Other things to tell yourself when you're feeling discouraged. This is tough, but so am I. I may not be able to control this situation, but I am in charge of how I respond and how I act. I haven't figured this out yet. This challenge is here to teach me something, and all I need to do is take one step at a time, breathe, and do the next right thing. So the power of yet is something that maybe you've heard before that's very important in your thinking. When you say, I can't do this, you have to add the word yet. Because if you haven't tried it, or even if you have, you can't do it yet because maybe you have to practice more. Maybe you haven't tried it that long. Like this one, I'm not good at this yet. I don't understand this yet. It doesn't work yet. It doesn't make sense yet. These are things that we can help ourselves to retrain our brain and help us to get through some of those challenging times. So what I want you to do before you come to art class, I want you to think about what you struggle with in art. So something that you have a really hard time with in art class, or maybe um, when you try to do it on your own even, and I want you to write it down, and then I want you to think about what you can't do yet. Okay, these are the things that we're gonna be working on. So I want you to write those things down and have them in your head when you come to our class this week. Okay, I will see you soon. And this is one thing I wanted to show you. When you approach life with a growth mindset, you understand abilities can be developed and you're not born with them, that you can learn them. All right, talk to you soon. Hi. Hi. Okay, let's hope I did that right.